Okay, I'm going to show you a few ways to take the studs, these bolts, out of the head, I'm sorry, out of the engine block of the Model A. So when you're cleaning the head and you're scraping and trying to get all the surface off, um, if you want to get around the base of the studs or you just want to remove the studs and put new ones in, you'll have to take them out. So I'll show you a few methods. Uh, the first method is like the simplest method requires minimal tools is the double nut method. So the way that works is, uh, here's an example here, there's two nuts here and remember these are 11 16th nuts on the MLA head. And so what you'll do is you'll put one nut all the way down um, on the top of the head. If you have, and again this only works if you have enough thread space to do this. So I put one nut down here in the bottom and then the second nut, so you hold this one steady on the bottom with a wrench, and then you use another wrench the same size. So you need two 11 16 wrenches or a socket. Then you tighten this down, and you tighten so that both bolts are being screwed, I'm sorry, both um, nuts are being screwed against each other. So you tighten them down, so like these two are really tight against each other. So once you have that, then what you do is you can turn the bottom nut with a wrench and as you turn it now I started this previously because my previous video clip I had to do over but uh, what you'll do is as you turn the bottom nut it'll turn the whole stud and it'll just come out like that and then at some point when it's finger you can use your hand at some point to get it out so that's one method again this won't work if like for example this stud uh, the threads are pretty bad on this, they're stripped or damaged, so I can't get this nut either, I can't get it all the way down, or if the top of your stud doesn't have enough space to put two nuts, then you can't use this method. So you may not be able to get two nuts on top of your stud. Uh, another method you could use, uh, if you get a pipe wrench. So, Pliers won't work as, I mean, maybe if it's loose, but what you can do is you can put a pipe wrench around this. So all you do is you just tighten, and again, you want to, the teeth of the pipe wrench, you don't want to put them on the threads, obviously. So if you have enough space on the, uh, I don't know what it's called, like a neck, if you have some space on the stud where it's not threaded, and you can get a good grip, and you can get an angle, that's another important thing, because you got to move this. You can tighten this, and then just use the pipe wrench and that's actually turning, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but that's turning the whole stud right there. So that's another method is you can use a pipe wrench to get uh, a grip on there and pull it out. Uh, another method is you can use a tool. So this is a stud remover and the way this works is um, there's this lobe. So when you turn it what it does is, this is serrated on the side, kind of like a coin, like a quarter, so it's serrated on the side, so the way it works is, as you turn it counterclockwise with a wrench handle, uh, it'll grab against a bolt there, and it'll grab the side of it, and turn it out. And there's two sizes, so if you look at the top, where you put it down, there's a big hole and a small hole. You want to fit your stud over the hole that gives you the snuggest fit, so on the Model A head, that big one is uh, a little too big, there's too much space, but the smaller one, that fits more snug. And then what you'll do is, um, you'll put, now this one I happen to have is a, uh, is this a, I think it's a half inch drive, it's a bigger drive. So what you do is then you put your drive in here, and what you'll do is, as you turn this counterclockwise, it's grabbing, um, you probably can't see it, but it's grabbing against the bolt and it's actually turning, I'm sorry, against the stud, I keep saying bolt, and it turns the stud out. Um, one method, this, I, this is probably the easiest way to go first if you have one of these tools because if you have a stud that's not in there really bad, this is just an easy way to get it out, I think. You just slide it on and turn it. Um, it doesn't risk damaging the threads like this double nut method does. And it doesn't, uh, well, it's not a big deal. I mean, this, well, this pipe wrench could potentially leave some marks. It's not a big deal, but 
if you may not have room, you need room to swing a handle and get leverage on this. Well, I guess you do with this also. But what I've read about the drawbacks of this is that it could potentially bend or warp the stud if it's in there really tight because it's not giving you a centered, it's kind of like putting pressure on the side. So if it was really in there stubbornly hard and you're trying to get it out, uh, this I guess could maybe bend or warp the stud if it was in there really tight. So then you have this other method. Now I haven't used this tool yet, but this is another stud remover, but the difference is it has jaws, I don't know if you can see that in there, but it has little teeth in there that uh, grip the side of the bolt and it's also centered. So the way it works is you, let me get this out. You just slide it down, let me get some space here. Slide it down on the bolt. Then on the top here, you can finger tighten it to get it on there. And then, um, and then what you'll do is use a wrench to, to tighten this. And this goes counterclockwise, I think. And then you'll just use that. And, you, and again, this bolt is already, I should probably show you on a different, um, um, ah, hold on. Let me show you on one that's not out yet. So. Like that one. So and then you turn this kind of clockwise. Okay, so that's getting tight on the nut. And then at some point it grabs it. So if you can, I don't know if you can see in the video, but that just grabbed the nut. Well, here, I'll just turn it out. And that one is coming up. So and at that point I can just take it out by hand. So I like, uh, and I'll advertise again, I think my previous video clips. I bought this at AutoZone, it's pretty cheap, and it seems to do a good job, and it stores, it's, uh, I mean, this bolt, this stud remover is good too, um, but this one seems a little more elegant, more efficient, but either one would work. So those are options you have to remove studs from the Model A engine.